the border wall would very quickly pay for itself. The cost of illegal drugs exceeds $500 billion a year, vastly more than the $5.7 billion we have requested from Congress. The wall will also be paid for indirectly by the great new trade deal we have made with Mexico. That one uh, surprised me. I don't know where the president alluding to that uh, trade deal we made with Mexico. Not been ratified yet. It's expected to, although it might face a lot of, uh, you know, reworking and sort of redebating among Democrats in the House of Representatives. Having said that, that that is going to somehow help pay for all of this. So uh, it's a good thing we have the former ambassador to Mexico and so much more. Former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, former Deputy Secretary of State. To have this guy's resume. Anyway, he joins us right now, John Negroponte. Ambassador, very good to have you. Thank you very much. So let me say first, uh, Neil, that, uh, you know, government shutdowns are very disruptive. As a career government official for 44 years, whenever they came up, I really uh, hated to, to work in that environment. I was ambassador to the Philippines in 1995-96 when we had that big shutdown that a lot of people have been talking about. Oh, wow. With Newt, Newt Gingrich versus... Uh, Bill Clinton, sure. some good finally came of it, but gosh, you really hate to tell your employees, and I was telling the more than a thousand employees that I had at the embassy in Manila that they couldn't go to work, that in fact they'd be breaking the law if they went to work. So, you know, that's uh, always very disheartening. Now, about, about this uh, uh, situation, I think just as in 95, 96, some good could conceivably come of this. Uh, if, in fact, ultimately we get some broader deal than just whether uh, we have funding for the wall or, uh, or reopening of the government. But if somehow there could be a combination, and you're already hearing people starting to talk about that, like Lindsey Graham and others, that if you could get uh, some funding for the wall, but at the same time take some really solid and genuine steps towards immigration reform, whether it's DACA, uh, or no, 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 dealing... you're right. No, Ambassador, you're right. That, that, that I, I, appears to be the middle ground. I guess what I'm asking you, if you'll just indulge me on this thing that, that came out of nowhere on the part of the president about that trade deal and how it might help pay for this. Do you know what he was referring to? Um, I'm not I'm not entirely uh, certain there. I really I'm really not sure. I mean, no, I just don't know. Okay, uh, that's another I'm thing sorry I love about, about that. having you on. When you don't know something, you say, I don't know. I never do that myself. So you could never be a financial TV anchor. I wish I did. No, yeah, exactly. Uh, but let me ask you, Ambassador, because uh, the, the president was trying to make it clear uh, that this is a humanitarian issue uh, beyond a government shutdown to look at this for what it is, a problem along our border, an escalating crisis. Democrats like to point out that it's not as much of a crisis as it was because fewer are crossing over the border. Having said that, that they all agree that we've got to do something to keep it safer and to keep it more secure. He has offered the overture of making it steel rather than cement, of, of being flexible on other features, that it needn't be a wall to cover the 2,000 plus miles. What did you think of that? Well, first of all, I don't think it's a moral issue. We've already built, I think, something like a thousand miles uh, of uh, barriers uh, on the border. So, uh, you know, we, we're already uh, gone down that road. Yeah, I found and that a very a, unusual. The Democrats were finding the wall yeah. concept offensive. That means that the wall yeah, we have yeah, right yeah. now is offensive. Yeah, but it's partially, it's partially complete already. Second thing I'd say is, you know, 5.7 billion dollars in a budget of uh, four and a half trillion uh, is not exactly a fortune. And uh, if you could wrap that in to some kind of agreement to also deal with some of the other pressing border issues, including uh, immigration, then, as I suggested earlier, I think some good might conceivably come of this. But Democrats if say, Ambassador, the only way we'll get to that point and that discussion is by opening up the government again, and then we talk. And the president yeah. does not seem, for the time being, and things could change, willing to do that. Yeah, that's sort of, uh, you know, a, a conversation between two parties, each of which think they have uh, the greater right. leverage. So, you know, I suppose the Democrats figure the longer this goes on, uh, the more people will be hurting from the shutdown, and the president doesn't want to lose the leverage yeah. that comes from not being willing to reopen the government. But but frankly, I'm not sure I understand why they spent so much time trying to deny uh, him or prevent him from getting what he wants here, since uh, it's not entirely unreasonable. We do have 11 million 
undocumented aliens here in this country. There is a lot of bad stuff uh, coming up from the South, uh, heroin, uh, drugs, uh, criminality, uh, trafficking of persons and so forth. Uh, it's not a pretty picture down there. So, uh, you know, why not give this a shot instead of uh, sitting here arguing uh, about this procedural issue of whether or not to open the government or not, which at the same time is, uh, uh, is very costly for a lot of people who are involved and could start, I think, costing our economy, too. Yeah, well, we'll break that old record. You were in the middle of that one in 95. We're only a few days away from breaking that, that one. That was 21 days, 21 I days, think. 21 days, indeed. Yeah. Ambassador, thank you very much. Happy New Year. Appreciate it, as yeah. always. Same, same to you, Neil. Thank you.